take in that atmosphere. This is Mertime 64. I am a new Let's Player, and this is my first Let's Play, and I'm picking Dark Souls 2. I want to start thinking that this will not be the end all or like ultra comprehensive, you know, epic name, bro, or Vatia V, I think. I'm pretty sure I screwed that up. Or like, um, God, what's his name? Uh, the German spy. I'm not gonna do anything like that. They are, they and probably others like them are ha probably have all all this Dark Souls 2 information tied up together and ne neatly uh, composed for an informative, informational gameplay. What I'm doing is just you know having fun with this. You know, this is my first little piece, so I might as well try to have fun. Um, I do own Dark Souls 1 as well. And I'm planning on doing that with this game, or simultaneously, something like that. Give you, just give you something besides Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls. Maybe I might do another game as well. Um, my goals are trying to upload pretty much daily. You know, you, I'm pretty sure, like me, I watch a lot of other YouTubers, and they do a lot of daily upload, and that's what I want to do because I like watching videos every day. I'm kind of addicted to it. But uh, as you watch me play and you know, enjoy the adventures of you know, Murder Time 64 plays Dark Souls 2, I'm pretty sure it's going to fail a lot. Um, it's going to, hopefully it'll be enjoyable, because I do love, and love this game, I love the, the franchise. It's, it's pretty intense. It's not the most difficult game. Ooh, there's a thing. I've never seen that before. But I'm not the best uh, Dark Souls 2 player, but I'm not the worst. And I'm going to just, you know, have a little fun. And uh, let's uh, enjoy this. Uh, as a family, no, as a brotherhood. I would say brotherhood, but no, no. This is like a bro companionship type gaming going on. Uh, so let's get to the customization. Uh, my name obviously is going to be Merton64 because why not? And because I can, mostly because I can. And I think that's my name. I'm going to recall it. And that's me. And if it's not me, I'm going to murder them. Just killing. I'm not a murderer, but if I was, I would murder them over a name. Because I'm really creepy. Um, let's go with a, a class. I'm going to go for a strength build. I like strength builds the best. I don't really care for a dex build or anything like that yet. I might do that on, on other playthroughs or LPs of the Dark Souls franchise. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I, like, if I actually play Dark Souls with this or after this, I'm going to pick a uh, dex build with a uh, katana, because the katanas are, re are pretty ridiculous in Dark Souls 1. Mm. Actually, uh, gift. I think on the effigy. Mm, that has aesthetics, petrified something, I don't really want that. Healing warriors. No, I'm gonna take this like as a noob start. I'm not a super noob, but I'm like not the greatest, so I should take some, you know, like I should be honest with y'all. I'm probably gonna die a buttload, like a lot of typical newer players to this game. Um, no, let's get a decent bicep. Physique. Oh, buff. Oh, not so buff. I like that one. Um, face. I hate the hairstyle. Let's change this first. Um, be attractive. I'm gonna be the sexiest warrior maiden ever. I don't like this hairstyle. I think it's pretty ugly. It's pretty ugly. Let's go with that hair color. I'm going. To, I'm going to go with my favorite hair color ever. Red. It's my favorite. It's the best. Redheads are the greatest ever, hands down. And I say this because I can. Anyway, let's go. Let's uh, customize this a little bit. You know, there's a lot of customization. I'm gonna go th through this really fast. Yes, red hair, blonde eyebrows. That's good, pretty ridiculous eye color. Let's go with red. Red's not my favorite color. Green kind of is, but let's get tattoo. I think I think this is kind of good enough. Yeah, it's good enough. I don't really care. Yeah, this is my true self. I'm pretty sure. Oh, people I'm a bomb come shell. here for the same reason. Skip that again. If you want the intros, you can probably find that in other videos. I don't really care for it. I want to skip all the tutorial too because it's. Uh, no, I guess I'll do some of it. But uh, let's do some quick customization. Let's get rid of. Uh, 
let's switch out weapons. I did uh, pre-order this game, so I got got these pre-order weapons. It's pretty solid. It's not going strength build. The, the axe is pretty solid to get, but I think this is actually better damage-wise. People who watch this probably some tutorials a lot. Um, if necessary, if somebody is like, hey, go play through the uh, tutorial, I will definitely go back and play through the tutorial for you. And only for you. Yeah, that's right, I know who you are. But that's not important. This is an item over here. It's a soul level lost undead and a torch. I'm probably never going to use a torch. Ever. I, I'm just not going to pay attention enough to the darkness. I usually play by reflex and fear. So if I see something scary or potentially a trap, I'm going to just generally not go down there or go down there planning on to dodge roll and run away like a like a little schoolgirl. Not saying that running in fear is a schoolgirl thing, it's just it's it's a, it's a phrase and if I offended you, I'm slightly sorry. But only slightly. I'm not going to be like, oh my god, I'm so sorry I offended you. Well, it's just a, it's a common phrase, and I'm sorry if you are offended by that common phrase. The red is really vibrant. It's absurdly vibrant. All right, let's pretty much go straight. If you need a tutorial, it's all through there. It teaches the combat pretty solid. There's a lot of messages here, and since it's dark spot, well, I'm gonna rate it. It is a slightly dark spot. Um, there was an area back there with an enemy that I really don't want to mess with. Oh, there's a bone. Somebody died right there. And... I think there's also an right there, isn't um, And we are in pretty much the central hub of the game, the Jeweler. Like Dark Souls, they all, uh, like Dark Souls did, and so did Demon Souls, Dark Souls 2 also has the central hub for the game where you pretty much go to do your main leveling and general just like this is your safe area and you don't have to worry about things. Uh, I'm going to continue to uh, run through. Run through here. Brief exploration. Here's some stuff. I don't really know what it is. I think there's a salesman in here. There's a seller. You can buy some gear from this guy. Uh, I know if you, if you constantly buy stuff from him, his inventory will increase. Stuff over here. There's some asshole enemies over here too, but I do not want to deal with them. There's giant assholes. Um, some more stuff. Yep, there they are. Assholes. Don't. If you don't want to deal with. Oh, they're. See, they're assholes. I wasn't even close to them. They're out for blood. Okay, there you go. Come on. Come on. Bring it on. Bring it on. I ain't scared of nothing. Come, come here. You, you can't even hit them. Like. That's how much I like. I really don't want to mess with these enemies. And I only deal 19 damage. I can't even hit him. That is really depressing. And it's the only obnoxious thing ever. It's just I can't hit them. It wouldn't be a problem if I could just hit them. Uh, this is the best way to start a LP with the enemy that you don't want to deal with. God, like, I don't. Just leave me alone. Like, I don't want to deal with them. They're gonna be assholes, aren't they? Okay, they've reset. By the way, if you go to bonfire and you're not being attacked or whatever, not in any real danger, I think you can just go there and just respawn the enemies, constantly farm them up. You know, in the areas you're, you're in. Just let me in. Aha! I was holding a life gem. Um, what else? Bloodstain. Pretty much as are the uh, the images of people dying. You can see how they died. And it's, sometimes you can give you some health information on a dealt stuff. Anyway, if you knock over that rock into the well, you can get uh, Estus Flash. Estus Flash Shard. 
flask shark. Blah. Uh, if you want to upgrade to SS flask, if you're familiar with Dark Souls, you'll know that SS flask is the thing that you would want early. Or want to level up early if you're you know, constantly getting hit, or just be on the safe side to have it. If you're good, you can just dodge everything or shield block everything. You don't really need to upgrade it. What's the point? You're not gonna, if you're not getting hit or not taking that much damage, isn't that something you should upgrade? But you know, for people like me who can't help but to uh, die, take damage, Run without be much bad. time remaining. Just about ready to fall apart, I'd say. Not exactly the time to be chatting with a cat. Well, oh yes, you may call me Shalqua. Enchanté. Enchanté. So, what did you want anyway? I don't know. I just accidentally Ooh, clicked on you. you smell sort of. wonderful. I do I? Well, I just put on a new shampoo, and my hair is now vibrant, vibrantly red. All right. So this is one of the first covenants in the area. Uh, Sweet Shall Qua. I think it's like a French based name. Nothing or suited you, I presume. Well, no. that's dis. I think she handles, or I think I'm assuming it's a she. Sounds like a female in the voice. Sounds, sounds like a female name. I'm assuming female. I could be wrong. I don't really. I don't think it really matters to me, or in probably to the majority of you. But if it does, holy go look it up. Anyway, uh, to go down here. You can see more blood stains. People are dying in like the most awkward areas. I guess they're dying from the stupid enemies over there, or just falling off. Accidentally. So item over here is homeward bone. Homeward bones are probably one of the best items to save your life. If you want to be on the safe side, you can always use homeward bone. Go straight to a bonfire. You don't lose anything. This is uh, the victor stone. And I think. Oh, go! F Excuse me. No one even asked to play with you. Like seriously, they can just go fuck themselves. Uh, I think that's the covenant that increases the difficulty to like new game plus this is a hard difficulty i don't think there's any crazy words that might be like more souls per kill i'm assuming there are talk so to this guy he's a he's the first blacksmith oh it doesn't matter just help me open this door i packed my tools in here but now somebody's gone yeah he's like pretty much open the door for me and we'll have some uh, some sweet chemistry and he'll, he'll upgrade your items and literally go the fuck away. And uh, he's pretty much the blacksmith. Like, he, like I say, if you're familiar with Dark Souls, the blacksmith will upgrade your weapons. I think he does the majority of the upgrading, if not all of it, I'm not too sure. You I want to say that. You are undead, aren't you? You have that distinct set. This is Majula. It is a kind of hand in Drang Lake these days. Alright, I gotta stop talking to this guy. Because those enemies are still following me, like. The Dickens. Come here. Come on. Come on. Bring it on. Bring it. Bring it. I want it. I want some. Give it to me. Give it to me. I want some. I might just kill these assholes because they're just being assholes. Like they're not doing anything but harassing me. Oh. Did one of you get wise? Nope. They do, they do a, 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 a more than significant amount of damage for how, like, annoying they are. And, like, I could, I could have dealt with them a long time ago, but I just really didn't want to. They're just obnoxious. They're just obnoxious with little enemies. By the way, don't try to hit that. If you're fighting up here, don't try to hit that guy. If you're going for, like, a general safe run, try to avoid killing the NPCs. I might do a range where I just kind of kill everything. But my name and character, Lord Destroyer of all of them. Back row. So, uh, anyway, my gameplay is pretty much going to be like this. I'm going to gain out DC, times to attack, and then uh, uh, dodge roll the shit out of everything. Get close, dodge roll. Get close, dodge roll. That's, that's I think, to me, that's the most effective way I can fight. It's, it's a little, it's a little, it's, it's a simpler method. Like, I don't really care for the shields. Oh, you got wise. Aha, you bastard. Come on. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I'm done fighting you. Like, y'all being assholes. Legit assholes. Go fuck yourself. I wimped out, I'm sorry guys. I wimped out. I wimped out. I, I would've did it, but they are just too obnoxious. They're just, they're, they're just so tiny. 
reset them again. I just need to get them off my ass. Anyway, if this is your uh, level Are you, person, or merely a pawn of fate, bearer of the curse, I will remain by your side. Take this with you. May it go on and see the king. He who may drank King Ven the King Vendrick. So he's the Prussian man attack uh, antagonist, if you will. I don't know if he's actually like the guy I want to murder really bad. There are for me. you will never. And she's going to go through that. And she'll eventually come useful, well, I guess, when we come back or whatever. And she she pretty much uh, reminds you of the the level chick from Demon Souls. I forgot her name, and I will never remember it either. And also the. Uh, God, whatever their names are. I'm forgetting so many names. But they're pretty much the people that took watch over the bonfires in Dark Souls. She's pretty much all of that combined. So it's kind of, it feels like kind of a throwback to uh, Demon Souls. Kind of uh, style, uh, like architect. And it, it's, it, seems, it seems to be a little cleaner, you know. Demon Souls was kind of simplified in its hub. You go to the hub, you level up your things, you transfer everywhere. It was it's really simple. And simple, uh, simp uh, and simple in this context is pretty solid. But I'm not saying simple is bad. You know, this game does have a lot of things that I do like, and it's something I do want to sh uh, share with everyone, at least from my standpoint. All right, so this is you know kind of the initial area. Oh, yes, I will occasionally hit uh, chests. Because I'm so used to like a deep, uh, Dark Souls just being a shit dick. And it's like, hey, you remember the first mimic that you never see coming and just eats your face? Yeah. I, I learned from that lesson. I always stab chess just to make sure that it's, you know, it's friend, not foe. Um, so these are your actual first enemies, you know, real time. Did do the tutorial thing, those are your actual first enemies, but for me, this is my first enemies. Not the little pig things are just. Um, item right here, it's a uh, life gem. More healing. Healing is good. In fact, with the key, uh, one of the key differences from Dark Souls to uh, Dark Souls to Dark Souls 2 is that there's way more healing. Besides the Estus Blast, which only has one charge. If I had it equipped, uh, it would be better. Um, poison Moss, Poison. Unlike, uh, like I said, unlike uh, Dark Souls, which gave me five, five charges of Essence Blast, that was pretty solid, and that was your main primary healing that you kind of use all the time, that instantly heals you. This is a little different. Uh, Archer guy, and since I... That, oh, motherfucker. Enemies did respawn. I think I got dead dead. Um... Didn't respond. That's kind of weird. I guess just let it and then sit down. But uh, uh, yeah, pretty much everything's virtually the same. is virtually the same in Dark Souls as in Dark Souls as in Demon Souls. That's nothing. Um, so my healing. Healing is never. Uh, Estus Flask is not a instant heal all. It's a slow. Burn. It's a slow burn, but heals for a decent amount early. I think it stays pretty solid throughout the game if you constantly upgrade it. Beware of this guy. He's not dead. Oh, come on. He's not dead. Oh, he jumped left him. Yay. He's not dead. tough. Life gym is also a slow burn. I think life gym is slow burn and essence class is a quicker increase. But it's like one, it's very few charges, so it's used more sparingly. There you go. I guess I'll show you the essence class if I get hit again, which will probably be, probably be in the next few minutes. Uh, um, so, this game was on. I'm doing this, uh, the, the yield cheap way. Take him downstairs. Oh, excuse me? Okay. I'd 
I can to my enemies one at a time, bait them somewhere, kind of make them come to me one at a time. And then, is that NPC stuck on the stairs? Oh, they're just gonna jump down. Oh, you are really just a badass. Look at you, Mr. Badass. Oh, God. I am playing so poorly, I'm so sorry. Boom, dead. Oh! Let's try this again. Boom, dead. Let's check out the Estus Flash heals. It's, it's, it's quicker. But if you remember, you know, Dark Souls, it was just like, bam, insta heal. Virtually insta heal. Very rapid healing. So, this guy here is an enemy, but he only attacks when you attack him, so if you want to fight him, you can. He drops a, a, a eight knight sword, and I want to get it. It's pretty nice. It's I'm, I'm going to make the, make it to the equivalent of the, the dragon tail sword. I think it's the dragon tail, pretty much the dragon sword from Dark Souls, where you, you pretty much a lot of people just cheaped it and sit on a bridge and shot it off. Pretty, pretty much an easy one weapon to use early game that kind of lasts a pretty decent amount of time. Give pretty solid damage. I'm really bad. So uh, what else do I want to talk about? Um jumping. Jumping is different. It actually is like a jump button. Excuse me. Serious. Oh come the fuck on. After we're gonna deal with this asshole. Come on. Oh, too close. It's at risk. That's not good. Alright, jump over here. There you go. Yeah, it's it's he it actually has a dedicated button so you kind of just running around and like hitting the roll, whatever. I forgot how I did it, to be honest. Um safer ways just to climb down. But I'm, as you learn through this uh, let's play, I'm not really the safest player. Oh, you're not dead. You're, you're not friend. Um, that's, that's all the shenanigans and trickery. Need to make sure this enemy isn't that hard. He has a lot of tails, and he's pretty easy to dodge. And if you're pretty careful, it's an easy fight. Are you dead? Are you actually dead? You're not getting up. Okay, you're dead. Uh, let's uh, start this fight. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, and he's really fast. He's quick. Oh, that was a really bad heal. I'm just going to preemptively dodge. That's what I do. Pretty much be on your toes. I'm. If I die in this fight, I'm really angry. Like not like rage game angry, but just like annoyed. I think the first time I ever tried to kill this guy, I had a lot of trouble. He has a three-piece combo. Oh shit! If you get too far, he has a dash attack. Oh come on! Really? I was gonna be kind of aware where he is at all times. I'm probably gonna dance around the circle. Pretty solid weapon to start with. Pretty cheap, but it's really effective in handling enemies. I can find it. There we go. Um, mention I'm not going to use shields. I'm going for a, a straight up strength build. Like I'm, 
I'm gonna try to find the claymore early. I'm, I might look it up just so I can have it. At least I can, or at least rush it early. Um, there's a guy there. There's an ambush. Be aware of that. Boom! Dead. There's another guy. I want to kill that guy pretty quickly. You can, if you have daggers, which I got two, or throwing knives, I got two of them. I'm just going to use it. Easy kill. Oh, yep. Let's kill that guy. You aggro this guy. Easy kill. There's a another uh, enemy, and there's a bomber right behind him on the stairs. I don't think there's any expression in here. But let's always check. Oh, let's see you Make that statement, I find stuff. Get some wooden bolt, that's crossbow ammo. Don't confuse it with arrows. Like I did the first couple of times I picked it up. I have not completed this game yet, but I'm pretty sure I can easily can. Be careful, that guy up there is a douche, and that guy's a douche. So you got two douches in one single area. Uh, I took an arrow to the skull, insta kill. Where'd he go? Alright, so let's, let's get out of this hornet's nest. Oh, I'll do wherever your stamina. I'll do wherever the are. Helps you just handle situations better. Don't you dare. See, I, I, I could have died right there instantly, but I was. Got too cocky, too full hardy, and just. I probably just want to be patient, you know? Play this game at your pace. Your pace. And not anyone else's. You know, if, you, if you're a speedrunner, go for it. I'm not a speedrunner. I'm a. Pretty much, let's just take a nice, leisurely breeze, but I do get anxious and I try to rush things. I make simple mistakes like that. Getting hit a ton of times. Like I say, I'm not the best Dark Souls player, but I do know better. You know, if something looks too good to be true, it's too good to be true. <laughs> You're going to see me rarely ever use uh, a strong attack in this game because i rather have my stamina high. Here's another traveling merchant. She reminds me of an old lady in Dark Souls that's in the case. Oh, come now help an old woman and buy something. <laughs> And you can actually buy the that, uh, the key to the shop. It's right here. It's a thousand coins. And also buy a strength weapon. Pretty much the first high strength weapon, which is the club, and I'm going to buy it. There's also a Cestus here, which is also another strength weapon, but it has B and Cestus. So it's just a pretty solid strength dex weapon. Dual wielding is actually a, a thing in this game. They made it really solid. And I might do that. I was thinking about doing that for this Let's Play, but I'm pretty sure if I did something like that, I would mess it up and be really sad and just have to restart it immediately. Or just make a lot of drastic changes. For now, I just really want to kind of get to the first boss. And I forgot about you. guy's not dead. He doesn't even, like, fake he's not dead. He's fake dead. He's just like, oh, I'm just lying here. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm just doing my own thing. This guy is not dead. Be aware. This item here, soul velocity undead. You know, small items. Tip well, kind of typical of, of uh, Souls games. You know, your initial area is full of items and stuff when open. I don't, I don't know how to open that door, but I'm not going to deal with it yet. This guy's not dead. There's a lot of initial enemies here, so you can probably just wait here for a hot second. Um, when they come up, just pull back a little bit, and they will literally come to you. you if you're 
familiar with Dr. Pam, you know that the aggro, aggro range on these guys in the chase is just absurd. They will hunt you down until you die. Right, if we get to that area, just... How do you get over there? I forgot. Uh, could do some shenanigans to get there, but I don't really want to. I don't... I don't really want to do some high... I love a trickery to get over there. I don't think it's necessary. That guy's an easy kill. These guys just wait for their attacks. Up here, you can actually fight the real first boss. If you stay up here, he's gonna drop down and then be like, come at me, bro. And if you really wanna fight him, take him out. I'm not going to because I don't wanna deal with the shenanigans. He's an asshole. Are you still here? You wanna, you wanna leave? And there it goes. If you kill him here, you get a different item. And you don't fight him in the actual boss room. How do I miss you? Oh, come on. I'm absurd. I'm just swinging my sword to die. So I solved that problem. This guy's an aggro from really far, and I don't understand why that guy has an aggro, but this guy's like, I really want to kill you. These chill guys are pretty easy. Just wait for that attack, wait for the opening. Or you can go for a shit of a guard break. Get in there, deal a little bit of damage. Like so. Boom, just like that. I'm not gonna talk to that guy. Uh, this room's a douche. Just aggro that. If, you, if you're uh, swift enough, you can actually get that guy killed by the arrows. It's not too hard. And then three enemies are gonna appear. Oh, shit. I didn't think that could hit me. I'm gonna this. Oh, fuck. Alright, always be aware. Oh, come on. I'm damn sure there's no enemies in here. And so the next area you want to go is through here. And it's going to be a bit of a doozy. See those assholes up there? I'm not going to deal with them. I'm going to kind of bait it all out and get the fuck out of here. Because, well, well they, didn't, they didn't explode everything. But all those barrels are exploding barrels and it's not a fun time. Let's get a firebomb. I wish I get that guy aggroed. And I can fuck myself over. And that's what you're not supposed to do, is fuck yourself over. Oh, I'm wasting so much healing. I was gonna show you a trick. You can pull that guy back and shoot him with the arrow, but I made it look like it's not necessary. I almost killed myself. And that's how you do it. There's some tricky enemies in here. They're just straight up assholes. Try to bait some out if you can't. I, like I did, I didn't bait any out. Just uh, be careful. Oh, oh god damn it. Boom. Oh, come on. Go fuck yourself. That's how I solved that problem. Like I said, this game, like a lot of combats, really just be kind of patient, and you'll get the re the results you want. But that was a whole. I see. Look at that. It's cat like reflexes. This guy's not dead. I don't think he is. It's on the ground. Just, just out of habit, just preemptively hit things. That's what I do. It's. It will be 
better for you to preempt preemptively hit something than not to preemptively hit it. There's an enemy. It's gonna pop up soon. It's gonna bother me. I don't know when when he shows up. Get, he's not there before. I'm I wanna kill that guy. But after I do this. Go through here first. And we're on the other side of the area we, we was at earlier. Hit the sparkles. It's a titanite thing. Die! Oh no! 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 Don't you dare! Ah, oh, fuck. Well, it'll come back once you go to the thing, whatever. This guy's not dead. He's not gonna take you dead. Um. Item down here. Large shield and life gem. Let's progress a little bit more. If you open this door, it takes you back to the entrance uh, where the that uh, old merchant lady was. It's fire arrows, which is really nice. If you had a bow and arrow, you're in some decent areas to get some early ammo. But now let's deal with this asshole. I'm gonna deal with him now, except later. I swear, there's. There's aiming that aggro before. I have to get all the way up in his grill. No. Guess not. No. Oh, there he is. See? Giant asshole. Handled. Run up here. Now it's safe. Be careful, it's a small ledge, easy to fall off of, and get a halberd and some souls. Um, this might be a good time to go repair your items if your items are getting low. Would like mine are, but I don't, I don't want to. I want to get to the first boss as quickly as possible. The first boss is pretty easy. It's pretty, it's really straightforward to fight. And we take the elevator down, and you'll actually meet them. Well, you'll go through a slight tunnel, and you'll find the first boss. This makes you dizzy, I'm sorry. I just I have a habit of spinning the camera going down the elevator. If you fall off there, I think that's just death. So I wouldn't fall down there. Another asshole. Pretty simple. Anyway, I guess I'll end it here right before the boss battle. And uh, you have a great night, everyone.